hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. How are we all doing? Let's put some light on. There we go. Lovely. Are we all good this morning? I'm just going to change this camera angle. I'm in a different place today. There we go. Lovely. Okie dokie. So if you're watching this video, you're on the Keep Fit With Kelly Facebook page. My name is Kelly Ravenscroft and this is your daily live broadcast. So I come on here live at eight o'clock every morning, Monday to Friday, and we have a bit of a, a chit chat. So I really, really hope that you enjoy the videos. I hope you find them entertaining, informative, motivating, and all of those things. And if you do, please do like the videos, put comments on, share them on your own timelines and encourage people to come and join uh, my fitness family because we're really creating a really amazing community here. We're nearly at 8,000 people on this page which is phenomenal. And I'd love to get to 10,000 by the end of the year. So please do share the videos on. So I can see some people are watching me live. Oh, you're all right, Alfie. You just fell off the chair. Um, <laughs> I can see some people are watching me live. So please, if somebody could just put me a like or a comment so I know things are working, that would be lovely. Say hello, let me know how you're doing. I've just got back from teaching Early Bird Club Outdoors. Really nice morning again. A bit cloudy this morning, actually, but quite, quite humid. Um, and we had a lot of fun, which was great. Are you going to start barking now? Do you want to go outside? Should we open the door? Right, I'm just going to open the door. Ah, oh, we've got some, some likes and things are working. I'm just going to open the door for Alfie, and then I'll get into the subject of today's video, because it's a good one. Good morning, good morning. Hello, let me just let Alfie out. Come on then you. Come on then, this way. Okay, so if you watch me and follow me, good morning everyone. If you watch me and follow me on a regular basis, you'll know that I try to be really, really honest with you all and that is really my main thing is to be completely honest and you see me when I've had bad times you see me when I have good times I talk about the fact that I you know I do drink wine and I eat chocolate and I'm a real person and, and I really like to come across that way because I think it's really important so I really wanted to talk to you about this today I'm going to be so brutally honest with you in this video and I really would love to to get your comments uh, it is Julia <laughs> It needs a top up, doesn't it? Um, well noticed, Julia. I'll get Jamie on the case. So, um, I want to talk about shorts. So, the weather, I think, pretty much across the whole of the country is lo lovely now, nice and warm. And so, it's that time of the year when the summer clothes come out, isn't it? Um, and a fellow fitness instructor, she might well be watching this video. I don't know if she watches my video, but another lady that I know who, who teaches fitness, she posted a picture of herself yesterday on social media in a pair of shorts. And she said that she'd always been nervous about wearing shorts, but she was wearing them on the school run and she felt confident for the first time. And, you know, she was encouraging all her uh, participants and followers to wear their shorts with pride. And I commented on her post and that's what's prompted me to do this video. And I commented on her post and this is what I wrote. I said, you look amazing. You look great. Well done you. Yes, you absolutely should wear shorts. I've never worn shorts ever, I can't remember a time I've ever worn shorts, ever, ever, ever. I absolutely I detest wearing anything above my knee. I hate my legs and I always have done. And I don't know why. I don't know whether something was said to me when I was a child, I can't remember, I don't know. But for as long as I can remember, right back to my teenage years, and right back, I will, I will not wear shorts or I won't wear any skirts or anything that's above the knee, I will only ever You'll only ever see me in trousers, jeans, or if I do wear skirts and dresses, they're always below the knee. Now I know, as a sensible woman, <laughs> I know that, that you know, I, I, there's no real logical reason why I do that. I know that um, I'm sure I would look absolutely fine in a pair of shorts. I'm sure it's all just in my head, but it's in my head. And so that's what I commented on her and I said, you know, I, am, I think that's amazing. And that's why the subject of this video is why I don't wear them, but why I think you should. I look out there and I think that, you know, women of all shapes and sizes look great. And I think that it's all about dressing your body in the right way. And I think it's, you know, if you can find shorts or short skirts or whatever it might be that you want to wear, 
that you feel comfortable in, that you should. I don't think people should be hiding themselves away in jeans and leggings and being boiling hot because they don't feel comfortable in a pair of shorts. I think you should rock your shorts. I think you should have body confidence. And I think you should all be the happiest, healthiest versions of yourself that you can be and, and wear your clothes with pride, which is what I always say to everybody else. But usually I very much practice what I preach. So if I'm telling people to exercise, I exercise. If I'm telling people to have an 80-20 approach to food, and that's what I do. Normally I always practice what I preach. I never get people to do anything in PT sessions or classes that I wouldn't do myself. But on this one particular subject, I really struggle to practice what I preach. So as much as I stand here and go, yes, you all should have the confidence to do it. For some reason, what's up Alfie? For some reason I can't find that confidence. Why is that? And I'm not here to get answers on that. <laughs> Alfie! Dogs are out next door. I'm not here to get answers on that. I just wanted to share with you that side of me, I guess. Because I'm like, Alfie, I'm trying to put a really important message across here. <laughs> I'm always, um, yeah, I wanted to share with you because, I, you know, I always stand here and I'm always like, you know, coming across super confident and, you know, like into my fitness, into my health. But I've got these insecurities too and I'm just human like everybody else and I don't know why I've got this thing about my legs. I really don't know. Maybe something was said to me when I was a child. Perhaps that's why. I don't know because sometimes these things can be stemmed back, can't they? but it's just something inside me. So maybe it's something that I need to work on. Maybe I need to be a work in progress and maybe I need to practice a bit of what I preach when it comes to that. So I'm gonna go and shut that door because the dog's driving me mad. Put some comments up. Do you wear shorts? Do you wear shorts and do you feel comfortable? Have, maybe it's not your legs with you. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's your arms. You know, we've all got parts of our body that we don't. I mean, I am hair shaped. So I am bigger on the bottom than I am on the top. I'm always a different dress size top to bottom. That's not the thing really. I, I don't know, I've just got this thing where I don't like like my knees or anything. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't, I don't know. But I'd like to, but I, I think it's really important to be honest, isn't it? Because it would be false of me to be up here all the time going, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm into my fitness and, um, and all this because I've got insecurities too. Julia, thanks for sharing. Being comfortable is key, but you should so go for it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not comfortable, Julia. So I'm more comfortable in like maxi dresses, long dresses, quite happy strapless because I'm quite happy with my top half. Um, and I'm quite happy with like, I don't mind wearing summer dresses that come just to below the knee. I've got quite a few dresses like that. More fitted here. I guess like my my midsection, I know a lot of women are very self-conscious of their tummy. Now, luckily, I'm not self-conscious of my tummy. Um, so I'm happy with fitted stuff around my midsection, I'm happy with my top half, but, but I won't work. But I'm sure that you've all got a part of your body that you're not quite so happy with. And I just wanted to put it out there and to say, you know, <laughs> you're not alone if you're somebody who doesn't like showing their legs off in the summer or if you're somebody that looks at the weather and thinks, oh, you know, I, I'm, not, um, I'm not keen on, on wearing something, you know. Uh, Angie, appreciate your honesty. Ah, oh, I, I try to be really honest because I just think, well, you know, we're all just the same, aren't we? And it would be false of me to stand up here all the time, you know, saying, uh, coming across that I'm super confident all the time because I'm not. I'm not. I'm just like everybody else. Everybody else. And like I say, my, my, my rational side knows that I'm probably absolutely fine in a pair of shorts. I'm sure I am. That's what my head says, but my heart is like, oh no, oh no, I couldn't put a pair of shorts on and walk down the road. I couldn't, go. I, see, I see fellow fitness instructors teaching classes in shorts. I'm like, oh, I just couldn't do it. So maybe I will work on that myself. Maybe I will start to take a little bit of my own advice and try and work on it. But I hope you've enjoyed that this morning and I hope um, maybe it's resonated with you a bit. And as I say, I always just try and be super honest and super <laughs> transparent and show you all, you know, what, what my 
what my thoughts are on everything. So I'd appreciate yours. So I look forward to reading your comments as we go through the day. And as I say, do comment on the video. Do send me, um, put likes on and things. It's really uh, lovely when I see them as I go through the day. So I am going to uh, do school run now, etc. I'm online teaching again today. We've got low impact weights this morning. And then we've got summer party tunes online. Think the Macarena. Think cha-cha smooth. Think in the summertime. You know that one. So we're doing all of that this morning. So we've got low impact weights and summer party tunes online. And then tonight they've got a pre-recorded class, which is Express Abs and Booty Blast. All right. If you want to join online classes, let me know. We can sort you out. If you want to come to the outdoor classes next week, we've got Monday night and Wednesday morning. Again, let me know. I'll sort you out. Um, and finally, the 21 day summer recess. Lots of people booking on to that. We start on Monday. It's going to be in a Facebook group. It's going to be a little bit different to previous plans. I'm going to be setting little mini challenges. So you'll be popped in a Facebook group. You'll be given a food list. You'll be given some in instructions to follow. But then every few days, we'll be having a new challenge that will actually focus on in an area of health and well-being. So if you feel like you need a reset, if you feel like you need to you know, reset the mind as regards diet and exercise and get yourself sorted, then have a look at the 21 day summer reset. We start on Monday, it's all online. And you can find all the information on everything I've just spoken about at keepfitwithkelly.com or just drop me a DM and I'll sort you out. Hope you've enjoyed that this morning. Thanks for your comments. Um, ah, okay, Chris, I'm just reading your comments. A workout designed for COVID recovery would be awesome. What a great idea. That is a really good idea. I'll send you a message, Chris. I'll send you a message. Okie dokie. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Ah, thanks, Nikki. Me too. See you all soon.